Welcome back with another video with Hassan Beauty Diary, guys. My name is Hassan, and you're watching Hassan Beauty Diary. Um, I brought a new video. Um, there's a new guy came from, I think, um, I would say from UK or from US, probably. Uh, I don't catch his accent, but this guy uh, is going to give a reaction. No, not this guy. I'm I'm going to give reaction on this video. The ship breaking yards of Cheetah Gong. This is the title of the video, and his channel name is Dog Barnard. So, a lot of guys, you know, from over, from foreign countries, they keep coming to the Bangladesh. I think, uh, for I would say, they're making viewership because it's a good viewership. You know, a lot of making a lot of uh, YouTube. They're making videos. That means there's so much going on in Bangladesh and I witness. So if you're new to the channel, go and subscribe my channel and turn notification on. And let's start the video. One, two, three. Hello guys, this is Doug. I am here in Chittagong, Bangladesh. I'm here with my friend Boisal. Hi. And he is so nice. He's agreed to help <laughs> me out to visit the shipbreaking yards of Chittagong, which are very famous Place where ships Kumira. go to die. What did you say? His name is Kumira. 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 Where we are now? Now, now we are in Akekanmur. Akekanmur and we're going to Kumira. Yeah. So we are going to head there shortly. We're just waiting to catch a minibus to the shipyards. Uh, I've heard that they are not very fond of foreigners walking around with cameras there, which I'll talk about more later in this video, but I'm gonna get as close as I can. I hope it turns out well. Oh, is it? Why, why is it? Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Maybe due to security reasons, as I guess. All right, guys, so we're on the bus now, and we are headed to the shipyards. Shipyards. <laughs> traveling locally. That's okay, right. we got off the bus. Now we're going to get the rickshaw. Oh so I just found out from Foisal here that <laughs> the people here speak a different language, not Bangla, not Bengali. They speak it's Chittagongian language. A Chittagongian Oh, is it? Language. I don't know that. So in Bangla, how are you is Kemonachan, and in Chittagongian it's Kanaso. 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 <laughs> All Chittagong brothers, Kanacho. <laughs> Very old fashioned, I guess. And are those fishing nets? Yes. Wow. Fishing. This is fishing. Fishers men's fish. Fisher village? Fisherman Fisher village. village? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. I will try my best. For... Thank you, man. Thank you. We're going to try our best to get in there. We'll see. Oh, big fire. Wow, this is this is pretty intense place. Okay, you sit down. Okay, okay. Alright guys, so we got turned away from that one, but we are going to check out another shipyard. There are many, many, many in this area. <laughs> so we're continuing on. Oh, Alright guys, so we, we got turned away by a couple more shipyards, so we're going to a bridge now that sticks out into the water, and hopefully I'll be able to get some drone shots and, and get in kind of close there, but we'll have to see with the wind and whatnot, but I'm going to do my best, and uh, we'll keep trying to see if we can get access to any of them. Wow. Oh my, it is beautiful. Oh, they're not allowed. Oh, they open it for him. So guys, we were just over there somewhere trying to get into one of these yards where you see these big ships. 
Um, we were not able to yet. We'll see what happens. Now we're here on this bridge and look over on this side. There are boats on the other direction as far as you can see. They just fade off. Unbelievable, there's so many ships here. We're at the end of the dock now, the end of the bridge. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get a boat, hire a boat to get us even closer to those ships to take a closer look. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Somebody was telling me they generated a lot of revenue from these ships. They're selling to... All right, here we go. I mean, they export to different countries. These are the shipbreaking yards of Chittagong, Bangladesh. Shipbreaking is big business here. The industry began in the 1960s and grew to handle up to 50% of worldwide shipbreaking as recently as 2012. The industry employs over 200,000 Bangladeshis and provides over half of all the steel in the country. Chittagong is famous in the shipping industry, known as the place where ships go to die. And the yards were even featured in one of Marvel's Avengers movies. But there's a darker side to this industry. Chittagong was able to grow so quickly as a shipbreaking hub, largely because of its extremely cheap labor and low environmental standards. These two factors and others made Chittagong a highly affordable place for ship owners to ditch their ships once they were taken out of service, but they also made shipbreaking in Bangladesh one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. In 2014, National Geographic published a story on Chittagong's shipbreaking industry and brought the reality of life in the yards to an international audience. They exposed thousands of workers with little to no formal training and almost no protective equipment. Most workers wore flimsy plastic flip-flops working for 12 to 16 hours a day. Rampant asbestos, ships filled with toxic chemicals, massive explosions, and falling chunks of metal all made oh working in yards especially be... deadly. Amidst the fallout from the Nat Geo story, some shipping companies pledged to stop using the Chittagong yards altogether. And unsurprisingly, it also became a lot harder for outsiders to gain access to the yards. Today, conditions in the Chittagong yards remain far from perfect. According to The Guardian, as of 2017, only one yard in Bangladesh met international standards. Still, it appears that some improvements have been made. The few workers I got a look at for my drone appeared to be wearing hard hats and protective gear, and the few yards I tried to visit made sure to call out their compliance on signs outside their facilities. But there are over 80 privately owned shipbreaking yards in Chittagong, and conditions in the yards can vary. So the, the ship breaking yards, they turn into the new ones or just they like, you know, dismantle it and then wow. this way. All of this. So all of this is part of the ships? Yeah. So right now we're driving past the area where all of the stuff that they salvage from the ships ends up. And it's all sorted and, you know, either turned into scrap, sold for scrap, or recycled, or sold on in any way that it can be but this just goes on for as long as you can see it's unbelievable look at all this and all this is from the ships yeah. from the ships kitchens the sinks the rails the metal cabinets it's everything 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 even life jackets unbelievable look at this look at all the ladders and pots and pans and Buoys, trash cans, man, you've got all of the stuff that's actually on the ship, that's left on the ship when the owners sell it to the yard. This whole area smells kind of like welding, like burning metal. You can totally smell it in the air even as we drive along. There's a lot, a lot of metal being processed here, and plastic, and wood, and a lot of other stuff. Basically everything. Here are like, what is that, shower, toilets from the, from the boats. Wow, more boats. There's so many stuff here. Chairs, tables, cabinets, sofas. It's hard to comprehend the scale of this. It's un, unreal. Gotcha. Alrighty guys, we are here now at a nice spot in Chittagong or Chattogram. Two names for this city, by the way. Just watching the sunset. It's absolutely beautiful. That's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the shipbreaking yards here in Chittagong. I'm sorry I couldn't get closer and talk to the guys that were working there. 
but I hope it was still enjoyable. I've got a lot more from Bangladesh coming very, very soon. So stay tuned. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you. So, as you can see that in this video, guys, the they basically this guy showed the ship breaking yards of Cheetahgon. I didn't know that, but before you know that. Uh, there's a sh big ship breaking yard in Cheetagon where they dismantle all the ships um, All the big companies they came they brought their the big ships into the Bangladesh and then the, that's how uh, They're breaking them all in pieces and you know all the stuff they got from ships um, either it's the toiletry stuff or like you know the showers everything every bit and pieces they sell in Cheetahgong market. I just think this is a big market, you know, the metal, especially metal is very expensive. It's, it's a metal or steel, I have no clue. Metal or steel, they can sell in a good price outside in the market. So from this video, I got to know there's so much I mean, things in Cheetahgong. Although I know uh, the Bangladesh is one of the country who there's no like the competitors in uh, they're making ships as well the big ships so from different countries they came along and they you know um, they start making um, their orders from from Chittagong or I think Chittagong or somewhere else I forgot the um, the city name the city or state so they're making a big giants of uh, ships so there's no uh, competition uh, with Bangladesh so there's a big economy they are boosting this industry as well but there's no competition at all on this market as well well this this one basically was new to me the ship breaking yards so I got to know from this video so Chittagong and he old he also travel in bus locally there's no you know protocols you know some gore they don't want to take protocol but some European guys, the uh, I think Dodo Explorers, he was uh, taking the plane and everything, you know. But this guy, he was traveling in the locals, so it's a good experience to watch this. What did you say about this ship breaking yards of Chittagong? Please do tell me in the comment section. But I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye bye.